This is the Argentière Glacier, near Chamonix in France. Like most of the world's glaciers, it's currently in retreat. And as it retreats, it reveals how it's transformed the valley beneath it. At the sides and base where the glacier used to flow, the extraordinary power of abrasion and plucking have ground the granite away, widening and deepening the old river valley, transforming it from a V-shape into the U-shape we see today. In places where the river was meandering, protruding bits of land have been ground away by the force of the ice, creating features called truncated spurs. In the UK, you can see examples of U-shaped glacial valleys in the Lake District, Scotland, and this one near Tlanberis in Snowdonia. The stream that flows in the valley is called a misfit stream. That's because it's dwarfed by the scale of the valley and couldn't possibly have eroded it. Under the glacier, erosional forces are much greater than in the tributary valleys. It means the main valley gets deepened much more and when the glacier retreats, that leaves the feeder streams stranded in mid-air, creating features like waterfalls and hanging valleys. The recent retreat of the Argentière has also revealed how the vast forces of erosion at the base of the glacier can create huge hollows or depressions in the ground, which are much deeper than the other parts of the valley. Here ice would have flowed relatively quickly down the steep slope and been forced together at the bottom, resulting in what glaciologists call compressional flow. It leads to even greater erosion and that combines with weaknesses or less resistant bands of rock to scoop out the hollow that's slowly being revealed today. These features are also called over-deepened hollows and you can find plenty of examples of them in the UK. But perhaps the best known are the ones that have filled up with water since the last ice age to create the lakes of the English Lake District.